The other big story this morning here in Chicago is the trial of former Empire star Jussie Smollett. They're back in court today. Yeah, the 39 year old is allegedly the person who lied about being the target of a racist and homophobic assault. Roseanne is right now live at the courthouse with the very latest on this. Any sightings of him yet? It's still a little early. It is a little early, Anita. The trial will start in about an hour. We have not seen Smollett nor anybody else arrive other than uh, reporters uh, taking their place in the courtroom, which I will do in just a minute. But uh, it's day two, and we can tell you that he was here late into the evening, Jesse Smollett, till at least 7 p.m. He left with a lot of family by his side. As you said, prosecutors accuse him of faking that homophobic and racist attack back in January 2019 to get attention from his bosses at the show Empire. He's accused of hiring the Asandaro brothers, who were friends of his, to stage that attack for $3,500. Smollett's attorneys say the check that Smollett gave the Asandaro brothers was actually for services as personal trainers. Well, Smollett still had a noose around his neck when police arrived at his home back then, and his claims launched an investigation that involved thousands of police hours. Smollett's attorney said he's the real victim here, though, a real victim of a real crime, and claims the brothers just didn't like him. So yesterday, they did make progress on day one. The jury was selected and sworn in. Opening statements went until 7 p.m., but this morning, we do expect witnesses to be called and we are told that that will start with a Chicago police officer. At some point, the Osandaro brothers will, of course, testify. What we don't know yet is whether or not Jesse Smollett himself will take the stand. We're going to head into the courtroom now and bring you the latest later in the morning at the Leighton Criminal Courts building, Roseanne Teus, Fox 32 Chicago.